we live. We live. What's going on? Let's get with what I this is what we do before we start. I'm one, so excited. One, one, two, three. <laughs> yeah. Hey, uh, man, what's going on? Um I'm not sure if I am maybe not pulling the right words, but it's fine. Hey, so listen. So listen, 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 listen. Watch that Candace Owens documentary, right? Got some live music up there. Jump on. Hey, hey, what's going on? What's going, what's going on? on? We watched that Candace Owens documentary, right? Mm-hmm. Tell, tell me what you feel. How do you feel about it? What? Hey, what's going on, Charles? How you doing? How you doing? What up, Charles? And you know, many of us guys, we don't do our own research. Let's just keep it real. Yeah. You know, we don't. We rely on the media. We rely on social media. Yeah. We rely on other avenues and other vehicles to funnel to us what our, our thought process is yeah. or the way we should be thinking on a particular subject. Yeah. So, um, doing some extensive research, wanting to, wanting to hear her side of the story. You know, it's just opened my eyes up to that. The whole document, Candace Owens documentary changed, just changed all my perspective. We have, uh, I don't know if y'all have noticed, but as we start tuning in more and getting more understanding, it's, it's been changing our, our own beliefs on what we thought was what it was until now where we're switching over to. Well, so it's it changed, but it changes things. It changes everything. It really does. I didn't, I, I never thought. Cause I was taught as that I'm supposed to go with the flow, like when the whole George Floyd thing was going on. We were going through, man. You remember pandemic was going on? That was going on. Oh, they put a, they put a, they put the, the um, neck on a black man. It's racism. And then come to find out right. that this is Alexa, going on. Alexa, stop. This stuff we be going through, we be recording all the time. <laughs> Alexa, off. She, Alexa, cancel. She, Alexa's gotten hard headed. Yeah, okay. All right, we're going to replace you. Um, I like the fact that now we have new information. Yeah. You can really base a better understanding or base an opinion on facts and not look but who, what everybody else is, is saying or thinking. But now let's go from the start of the documentary. When, uh, no, we're not going to talk about it in too much because people are. I want people to go in and see it for themselves. I don't want to just tell the whole thing about it. No, I thought we were going to talk to them about it. Talk to them about it, but I think there are some things that need to be left for people to go and investigate and check check out themselves. Yeah, I believe that this is for everybody who is against the status quo of what the world wants. Because I keep saying that. I keep saying that. Be careful when the media points a uh, direction and says that hey, hey everybody look over here if the media is telling you to look over here look there and that's what we got caught up on too th- and you can go back and look at all videos you can look at our old videos you can see our emotionalism in it being being you know being not having to understand in the education what was going on in the media and I now I thought about it remember CNN just was pumping it pumping it pumping it pumping it and then the Fox News was like, well, you know, we don't know about this. You know, we see that he was a criminal and we see this and that. And I was all emotional back then. I was like, Fox is just, they're just racist. They're for the racist party. They're for Trump party. That was, that was my, my, my thinking two years ago. Right, right. I see you. I hear you, y'all. And I also see you justify. I, I believe it. You know, and the thing is, too, is that, you know, the media is the biggest platform to shift thought processes thought processes this that's that's their job their job is to plant seeds to sway people's way of thinking yeah. on a particular subject yeah and the majority for since the beginning of time has not done the homework they'll just accept whatever this local yeah. news station or international news or worldwide news station will, will report without doing the investigative reporting yeah you don't have to be a, a journalist to go and do your own Research to get facts, but if y'all about a particular subject, subject, y'all should man, y'all got to look at that documentary. Um, y'all got to look at that documentary. It's such truth, and it was so um so mind changing on the whole George Floyd thing. 
And I'm, and I just want to go back to the media, man. Just like I just keep thinking about it, man. Whenever I tune in, look at a little bit of Fox. Look, Fox was going against what CNN was saying, and you can look at CNN to the, to this day, and it's still just like it's it's to me. Now I see what Trump was saying. Right. Fake news, bro. I'm like, oh, now I see what he's saying. Now I get it. I get it. Yeah. I get it. And it is brainwashing. It's brainwashing. News. I'm like. I'm like, man, I'm so happy she did that documentary. And I hope, and I hope, I really, it just, I'm not going to, I'm not really telling it, but I wish the, the officer kind of gets more involved because it, it could help him in his case. I still feel like, I feel like, all right, I'm going to say this one truth that might not be agreed upon. I feel like he should have put, if he should have kneeled more, put all the pressure more on the shoulder blade than put it, because he had on shoulder blade and neck. So it's the it was, but all the pressure is gonna come off on on the part of his knee onto the shoulder blade, it's just a little on the neck. But that's not we know that's not what took him. Right. We know that's not okay, what killed him. All right, right. I'm still talking too much. Relax. I'm still talking too much. <laughs> <laughs> He's the person, y'all. That I get excited. If you the movie, I, if he's seen the movie that you've seen, do not go with him to the movies, okay? Because he's gonna tell you what happens. Gonna ask you questions as if you know, because he knows. Don't do that. I wouldn't do that. Anyway. But I was going to say, I just really, the, the thing that after looking at this in hindsight, I feel like um, if the officer. Oh, ooh, 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 ooh. Made, Justified said, oh my God. If they had made a different decision. Justified, you said it. It could have been, it could have turned out different. I really feel like pride and ego got into the, in there emotionalism and decision making process in that moment and it didn't turn out the way that they intended. But let's you know, but, I don't think but, wake up. I just don't feel like the majority of cops or people who work in service um professions go to work with the intent in mind that they're gonna hurt and kill somebody this this day they go. So let's hurt. let's move off let's move off the standpoint of the we know that there were there was there was truth and lies in that whole George Floyd incident. But that was, to me, I think the whole George Floyd piece of it was the tiny piece compared to the big piece, which I think Justify said on there. Yeah. I was looking at that. I said, man, I said, this is bull crap, man. This, this, was, it was, this was all an agenda just to fund. And I said, so that's, that's what I don't like about the whole Black Lives Matter because it's not about the Black Lives Matter. It's all about, a it's all about community. a particular, particular community. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. It's all about that a particular community and it's banked off the slavery piece because it makes it open for everybody to have been victimized, mm -hmm. which I think is bull. I don't think it's true. Well, I don't. yeah. And I think because of the brainwashing has been taught to us about, you know, slavery versus how it all started and how it was looked and viewed upon across the world. You know, even even during the times of Jesus and you know the Hebrews and Hittites and Israelites, all that there were slaves then. From the top. From the from the, from very, the very beginning, beginning, there has been, you know, slaves in a, in society. Yeah. How they were treated and what they did may have been different from country to country, but it was still something that was done. So we can't act like it was just out of the blue over here in Western culture it was the only place they had slavery in the whole world because that wasn't it. And then we don't know that if America was the only one that dealt with their slaves like uh, like the transatlantic. We don't know because history ain't really talking about that. Maybe in different countries where they had slaves, they have recorded how things were done. But so all we have is that. But I feel like I don't like how things were backed off that uh, racism. So let's everybody you know and that's so that's why we i've completely changed my political opinion we have changed our whole political opinion so that documentary was amazing that was amazing i was, I was sitting there look me my wife and my mother-in-law sitting there like this wow <laughs> yeah. and to not have new information and change the way you think shows that a person mm. wants to continue to be brainwashed they continue to want to go with what's popular or the in crowd, even though you know you're being misled and misguided because of not all the way accurate or false information, or you don't have the full story. Right. And how can you make a, a true, genuine conclusion, opinion, observation with only half of the story? 
a third of the story yeah. with a particular cover from one particular um, particular perspective. Let's see. And the election act blue took the donations for BLM and funneled them to Dems. Hundreds of millions collected went to campaigns for 2020, way more than the millions that went to BLM. See, that's what, man, that's all, that's, it's ridiculous. That's ridiculous. All them funds, all that money, yeah. all that money that went to the place that it, that it was so-called supposed to go. Man, it was a pyramid scheme. It was a pyramid scheme. But you know, you have to know that justice still will be served. You can't worry about, and this is how I feel, you know, you can't really, you have to trust that people are who they say they are and they're doing what they say they're doing when they have nonprofit organizations as well as for-profit organizations that serve people. And if they don't, the word of God says, what's that in the dark is going to come to life. Yeah. And it always does, as this situation with the BLM. Bottom line. So now, you know, not only with the first director, the second director still wasn't doing right by the people and the money. Still wasn't doing right. And, you know, wake up and smell the coffee. Now, could they make a different change and could they wind, wind up doing what they say? They, they you know, who knows? They, they possibly could. But it always comes back. So justice is going to be served because that's how it is. Light will always overpower darkness. Yeah. And it may not seem that way in the very beginning because it's not being tackled or taken down the way we think it should because we're from the outside looking in. Yeah. But God always wins. Man, and that's what's so amazing. And now, what have y'all? If y'all start noticing within the YouTube community, a lot of African American um, um, YouTubers are starting to wake up. And I'm not talking about woke because I think that's garbage. They're starting to wake up and pay attention and start seeing more versus just saying, "Okay, this is my color. I go that way." You get what I'm saying? Now it's like, "Okay, let me do my education. Mm, my values go this way." So I, I, I'm really loving the education that's coming here, you know, from the Tom Souls, from the Candace Owens, Officer Tatum, you know, um, 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 Larry Elder, Brian you know, Anthony. Brian Anthony. And I just saw Stevie Knight was on um, 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 Jesse Lee Peterson's show okay. because Stevie, Stevie Knight has a more of an open, conservative, black conservative view. Okay. And I didn't know that. And he saw for the ability of, of African-American people not really just banking on people and just really, you know, getting your own grind, starting your own business, doing your own thing. And that's what that's what this is all about in the end. And that's what BLM, I think they they work off the emotions of a poor mindset. Okay. So the more they got in emotions, the more money they made. But I hate that the fact that two lives were lost in the end of that, man. The best part to me is that two people's families were really, you know, um, destroyed pretty much. The officer as, as well as, you know, George Floyd. That's what's sad to me. And just to think, as I looked at it, I was like, if only a, a different decision was made in the moment, it could have changed everything. Would there have been penalty? Would there have been a reprimand and discipline with the officers? Of course, I still feel like it. However, George Floyd still could have possibly had his life and the officers still could have had his freedom. Both of them would have been alive. Yeah. Both of them been a, both of them been I mean I'm saying I know the officer's still alive, but what is life when you do when you're doing twenty when you're doing twenty three and one. And the guilt and you know and, and, and I'm sure the, the remorse he probably has, you know, and just the things that goes on in, in, in his mind as he I'm sure it crossed his mind several times as to if only I had made a different decision, if only I had done this, if only you know, however, just keep praying for his family and his peace of mind. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna read some. Um, yeah, knowledge is power. We were scammed. We moved on, learn, and try to be better educated voters. That's all right. of us. We are all in this together. You're That's absolutely, right. you're absolutely That's right. Passion. You're That's absolutely so right. Good. And that don't matter what your skin, it don't matter what your skin color is, man. It's all about coming and making a great decision. And that's across the board, all over the world, because when it comes to leaders and people of power and when it comes to embassies and presidencies and kings and queens, it behooves the people to really get in there to get the information that they need so they can feel comfortable. Yeah. So they can be a part, a productive part yeah. of society and feel like they have a voice based off truth and not what the masses are trying to sway. Yeah. I feel like, and I still feel like, man, when I look at it too, man, just when I look at um, that whole movement, it just goes totally opposite of what Dr. Martin Luther King was trying to do. He wanted everybody to come together. And that was more of like, I don't like that, you know, just like 
let's just be let's be race let's be black racist you know what i'm saying i don't or black prejudice i don't like that either that's that's not the way that's not the way god intended only thing god split us up was on babel from languages because we were trying to be bigger than god but i feel like as individuals we are united we all people we all red on the inside so yeah. let's let's so let's let's be let's be better as a people. Let's stop scamming like that too. Because you can't. How you gonna? How can you sleep? How can you live a good, prosperous life when you just scam that many? And you can't. I mean, it's it's, it's there's gonna be health issues. Yeah. There's gonna be things that come up, and it's not going to be enjoyable. So it's no peace that comes with you know doing innocent people wrong and getting over. It's just it's just not. No. Cat said Patrice cries it right. I saw that as Candace stands outside the gate. Months pregnant. That's what I was saying. How fake was that? How no. fake was that? That I, man, I, I, that John. When I saw that point, she said come that, on. and I love how Candace did it. She had it like she was showing like what her perspective when she was there. It was the live truth, and then it was I can't. It was the um, Patrice sitting there on the on the on the dag on um on Instagram talking about how she tried to break. She trying to she trying to she showing up at her house and mm-hmm. they trying they trying to take us under. No 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 no. You know you were in the wrong. And you and you don't want to be called out, and you did that. You told that lie just like you told all the other lies, man. And I'm so so I'm sorry. And I you know and I do believe there were there's some people that still go up under that BLM that might be trying to do certain things, but they ruined that. They yeah. ruined what yeah. if they were trying to do something and with I, that. It would definitely need to be. I'm sorry, as yeah. far as I'm concerned, rebranding with a whole new name, a whole new mindset, and a whole new. You know, outlook with a whole new different leader. Start from the ground up, scratch, start out with zero. And it went, but it shouldn't be based. It shouldn't be based on skin color. I think it. I'm, I'm really for the all lives matter, and we were for it even since then. Since it all was going on with the whole George Floyd thing, you weren't. We weren't screaming BLM. We weren't screaming it then. We still for all lives matter then, and we still are even more so now because the more. There's too many things that's going on in the world for people to keep going, trying to go like this. We ain't, we ain't got time for that no more. Yeah. We don't have time for that no more. There's too many things. If you look at the media, you look what's going on. There's too many things that are that pulling too much separation with things. So, And now it's not about the color. It's not about your color. It's about do you have it or do you not have it. Right. So, Charles, yeah, I see what your uh, comment was about don't uh, get the, the retired police. Yeah, it's unfortunate that, oh. you know, many people were, yeah. you know, killed during the riots. And it's oh, unfortunate yeah. that you know, it all of that stirred up to, you know, cause such disarray and, you know, tragic incidences like that. You know, that's all part of the lack of information, having the right information and lack of knowledge. And you got that was just, you know, unacceptable. And you gotta understand when it comes to the to that riot piece of it, man, some people are doing it are trying to feel like they're standing up for justice. But the majority of folks that were doing it were trying to do get some free. That's the same thing like the Martin Luther King riots. It wasn't really about the cause. It was about this is my opportunity to steal some stuff. Well, that's that's the low level mindset. See, I, don't, I don't like that. Yeah, that's a low level mindset. But, but that's but that's but that's going on around. in history with riots. It's always Rodney King, Dr. Martin Luther King. Yeah. It's it it's it. Back it, around. It's it, people who see opportunity to try to come up, so they think, and then they still lose in the end. I feel the humans, the human species, is sheeple. It is only when we get to know each other individually that we have an understanding of each other. Let me tell you why that's that's, that's absolutely true. Yeah, now, even on a simple turn, right? Let me just talk about um so my mother in law is from Georgia. We all from Georgia. Me, my wife, my mother in law from GA. Um and my mother in law had this this thinking how California was. And and we don't live in LA. We live outside of LA. We live about an hour outside of LA where, you know, it's really chill and sleepy. And um, she had a whole concept that she thought how, how it was to be out here. And when she moved out here, her completely mindset changed. Well, we are, we are, you know, we really far outskirts. But she knew, so so that's just like saying, once you have a better understanding, you put your, your foot in those shoes, then you have, it makes you, gives you a different thinking. You get what I'm saying? And so I'm say that too, with, with people of all nationalities, of colors, man, just like, you might go over there, you might love them, whereas you might have thought this was the way you were taught, but then you go over there and love, love this community. Right. You know yeah. what I'm saying? So. Yeah, you can't make your uh, preconceived notion or uh, judgment on a person that you don't know based off of a group decision. And was it Thomas Sowell that mentioned that he, in one of the, the videos that he watched? You know, yeah, the, the majority of people um, was, hey, hey, voices behind the wall, what's going on? What's going on? Um, we can't make 
a single judgment or observation of a person based off of a group and how society has described yeah. or wants to portray a person because we all know that the media that's that's their job that's yeah. what they do they well, especially cnn shift the way we think and they want to be able to shift you know spending and shift i mean that's just what they do so yeah i was definitely let's say i was i was born in ucla I used to graduate from San Fernando High. I, was, I live in Texas now for the yeah. reason <laughs> the state of California has lost its mind. You know what? I agree. I agree. Especially um, and shout and shout out to UCLA. I used to, I was at UCLA. Um, but shout out um, shout out Texas too. Shout out Texas. We from we from the south, so we understand. Um, that's why we live like outskirts too. We lived in LA, but we were like, nah, this ain't it. This ain't it, man. And it, if you start noticing people, the places that are high, so all right, I'm gonna say like, LA is more democratic, whereas where we are, this is more um, conservative. But it's more. But it, you it's, see how it's, it's ran? Different. It's ran so much differently. But it is. It's just way more crowded. You know, for, for us, LA was. I mean, we weren't city people until the middle. No. We, you know, we did what we need to do in the city, but we could always sit on the outside. Could you imagine something going down, like really hitting, and then you live in like LA? No, nah, I couldn't imagine. I couldn't imagine like if some some just some just happened. You remember how we went through the pandemic and stuff like that? I know this is just swaying off, but some going down. And you live in the city, but ain't ain't it? You know, you have to navigate. You have to navigate the best you know as you can, and let's kind of stay on top of it. All right, I'm getting on tap. I get, on tap. I, get it, I get excited. If y'all know, man, when we be when we be recording, I get excited. I start fumbling on my words. That's when I have gotten really excited. When I I start listening to myself when I'm editing videos, like my baby just be straight and narrow her words. My words be like this. <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah, for sure. Yeah, we were just talking about that too. Nation. But I do what I'm for. But what I am for is everybody getting get to making that money to take care of you and your family bless others and they don't get no better than that man god look out for you man yeah. so if you have not seen the documentary guys many of you already have, yeah yeah re yep. it's, it's, it's a great eye opener and awakening and awakening and it definitely gives you a whole new perspective on what was not shared you know, that that is that uh, you know, and I, 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 I it and I think I might want I want to rewatch that bad boy. I might have to watch it one more time. <laughs> yeah, but it was but that was it was awesome, man. And um, I hope some more things start coming to light, man. Things will start being shared to light. Right, Marcus, I feel you. What? L.A. and New York the same. Yeah, I feel like he was in um, New York when he got to L.A. just for palm tree. Yeah, that's what I mean. Yeah. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. No, for real. No, for real. For real. Yeah. For real. Same. I feel you. Yeah, it is. Yeah. It is. I like to go. Let me tell you something. I like to go to L.A. to do stuff and then leave. I, I go to New York. We go to do stuff, see it, and leave. Yeah. You know. So it's just like you know. But what did I say? Tom Sawyer and Larry Elder both have great ones. They do. And um, what we're what I'm praying for is the media and or oh, just just youtube just people that run it on the back end just stay out of the political aspect of it because you know because you see larry elder they they you know they demonetize them so it's like is that what happens for all people who speak truth i don't know i don't know we're thinking about also um having having on another platform as well so that we can say things that certain things that we may not be able to say on this platform with because you know you know shadow banning and all that stuff is real um we'll just give, keep you know posted on you know videos and all that kind of stuff yeah. we're definitely looking just to even add to our content you know as well to do you know some different things in regards you know in regards to marriage as well because we know god is steering us in that has been steering us in that direction for a long very uh, a long time for real Tracy Tracy said Singer so so Margaret Singer and Bill Gates father were friends parent planned parenthood and sh and we're gonna actually do a reaction to a, to um to that too to to Margaret Singer um as well but that now that's crazy that's crazy that they have you know that's that's that elite that's that elite that's crazy but it's a lot of people that be on the pocket of each other that you have no clue that work with this other person. Oh, well, yeah, most definitely. But I want us to make sure we can kind of funnel in also what we were talking about. So we're about to probably wrap up live on up, guys. It was great, great to see you, but we got some more yeah. videos we got to do. Yeah, we got some more videos to drop on, man. Y'all got, I think we got one that dropped that probably just dropped 
dropped maybe about 50 minutes ago, but we're gonna um we got more videos we about to do. And remember, hey, y'all keep dropping stuff for us to look at, man, because that's what that's what a lot of I do. I look at I look at other people, I look at I look at y'all comments and I'm doing and we're doing videos off of that. So the more information, the more those videos get put up, the more we educate ourselves, the more we educate you all. Right. Because people get educated just chiming in and seeing something they may not have watched. You know what I'm saying? So so yeah, man, I will appreciate y'all. That is so awesome that y'all jumped on it. This is yeah. our first time going live. It's been a while. We did this, but it's been a long time. It's been a long time. It's been a long time. All right, guys. See you soon. We love you. Thanks for hopping on. And we'll be back. We're going to keep doing more of these. We really are. All right. Y'all Sunday, Funday, man. God bless y'all. Y'all keep working, man. Let's go.